good evening from my living room um my office area is honestly kind of a mess so i decided to switch it up and uh, unpack some stuff over here today i'm going to be going through everything i got while i was in hummelstown as well as lewisburg thus far <music> So the first thing I got was a lamp and I got it for myself. It was a crazy good deal. I paid $37 for it. I would have paid $37 for the shade alone. Uh, it's not here right now. It's getting, it's going to get rewired. It's going to get vamped up a little bit. I was pretty excited about it, but um, I only managed to buy one thing for myself, which is good. I try not to get a lot of stuff from, I try not to get stuff for myself while I'm out there because as you can kind of judge, I... I already have a lot of stuff. So uh, the first thing I got was this little embroidered rose handkerchief. Now I just thought it was so sweet. It was only $2 and it's cotton made in Switzerland. And it just was such like a cute little sentiment. I kind of love those little romantic handkerchiefs and stuff from the 50s. So for two bucks, I picked that up. I also managed to find another Valentine's Day handkerchief. This one I paid $5 for. Uh, again, it's in pretty great condition. I love anything with a heart print Valentine's Day. Of course, I'm sure everybody knows by now is my favorite thing. Hearts are so cute and definitely on the harder to find side this year. I have been really struggling for Valentine's Day stuff. Now, I did end up getting this uh, array of cake toppers for Valentine's Day. Now, of course, the, this one is interesting the uh, collar and tie couldn't resist the big heart to my valentine so cute i only paid six dollars and forty cents yes six dollars and forty cents and i probably wouldn't have bought it um since there weren't as many older ones as i'd like if it had been maybe last year where i was finding valentine's day stuff left and right but because I only had one thing of Valentine's Day cake toppers this year and it sold, um, normally I have like a bunch of them. It was kind of nuts how sparse it was out there. Sparse, sparse, how sparse it was out there. So I grabbed them anyway. But also on the subject of Valentine's Day, I managed to score these two Napco Wear Valentine's Day figurines. Now they were $2 each. Yes, that's correct, right? Yes, $2 each, which is a huge steal. It's really hard to find them as a pair. Uh, I usually just see the boy if I occasionally see the girl. Um, I saw the girl not that long ago and she was priced at an antique mall for like $23. And now I will say the one thing that is kind of difficult about this material is they have some dings in the paint sometimes. Um, for this one, I feel like it's in pretty great condition except for that little, the two little dings on her hat and the paint there. But pretty superficial and the fact that it is the pair is awesome so these i've seen them priced at crazy amounts honestly the average sold price is 35 dollars now since my shop ships free in the united states 35 dollars and up i did end up tacking on my average shipping fee for something that's two pounds in the uh, united states as well as a four the like a five percent fee for etsy even though etsy takes six percent just because it's been super hard to find Valentine's Day and I wanted to eke out like a couple extra bucks, honestly, because it's been, <laughs> it's been pretty tough out there, uh, especially for Valentine's Day season. It's been a letdown, especially because uh, the Valentine's Day season, I, I mean, I'm sure you guys see how many miles I put in. I usually really overdo it, find a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff and that pays my way through the spring. However, I didn't, that didn't happen this year at all and it's been slow and it's been rough and it's been brutal so am i a little worried about it yes however um i'm just gonna have to adapt with the times and and just eke out like as much as i can on certain things i don't know where i was going with that but either way i have to adapt with the times and i did have to add on um a little bit of a charge for shipping and handling on the valentine's day napco wear figurines uh, let's see, what else did I get here? Next up, I got the fish salt and pepper shakers. They were only $3. Uh, they kind of had a funky mid-century pottery look to them. Uh, it's been a while since I picked something like this up. Since they were only 3 bucks. I said, why not? Um, I've been kind of trying to stay away from 
things that are uh, maybe things like I've had before and I've definitely gotten stuck with a few fish salt and pepper shakers recently but I said you know what for three bucks and the gold I couldn't resist especially with the eyelashes it's just like a fun hobbyist set oh excuse me I'm mistaken these were actually only two dollars this was three dollars which was a crazy steal now this is like a lucite acrylic uh what, oh, it's got like a little, actually, now that I'm in this light, I can see that it's got the maker on it. That is very cool. Yeah, definitely like 1960s. Design Gifts International, made in USA. Um, the little Lucite like acrylic mushrooms, <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. They're sell They're listed, not selling, listed online for these insane amounts, like $70, $80. I'm like, when did that happen? Um, they're definitely not selling for that price. I did check sold a couple different times because I was like, what? Because I was thinking I'd be lucky to get like 25 bucks for it with this kind of like starfish pattern in it. But I settled on 19. I think it might be a little bit on the inexpensive side. But at this time, I'm just really trying to move stuff and keep things flowing. Because like I said, it's been pretty tough and it's hard to go out and buy new stuff when you're not making money to buy new stuff with. So just trying to be as cautious and move things as quickly as possible and kind of adapt with the, the market right now. Next up, I got this super cute little Samson Imports lamb planter. I have had this one before, but it's pretty hard to find it at a decent resale price. I only paid $8 for it. I don't know why my camera keeps going, the light keeps going down like that, but um, 1961 and it was in good condition. We love a kitschy little lamb for $8. I scooped that up. Now this is by far my favorite thing I found in Hummelstown. Yes, including the super funky, crazy lamp I got myself. Um, it's a set of four. It's kind of hard to part with them. I'm not gonna lie. Every kind of part, every part of me wants to keep them and paint them and uh, paint the frames, not them. Just do some funky, kind of trick them out a little bit. But I'm selling them as is. Uh, I paid $23 for this set, which is insane because I do believe I'll sell these for $20 each. At least um, the tiles alone. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. And they got the Go Go Mod Girl. I mean, this character is just so fantastic. They are made in Japan. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. It's like the epitome of retro mod. Yeah, they're by Gifts Incorporated, Japan. Very cute. So that's what I got in Hummelstown. Where's my Lewis? Where's my stuff from Roller Mills? Next, I'm going to go through everything I got at Roller Mills. All right, well, first off, let's start off with this really funny uh, Norcrest set. It's a turkey salt and pepper shaker set. Now, I paid $4.05 for it. Yes, that's right. $4.05. It's in like pristine condition and it's got the original Norcrest foil stickers on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. That was really chaotic. Gosh, I am like such a mess. I've been such a mess, you guys. I've been super stressed out and super messy. Um, <laughs> and it's starting to show. So there you go. Anyway, for $4.05, I love the fact that uh, they were just kind of weird and a more desirable brand. Um, they could be Thanksgiving themed, I'm sure, like, as sure a lot of people know, like, it's a lot harder to find uh, things for Thanksgiving. So, $4, scoop those up. Another set I grabbed for $4.50 uh, were these kind of funny ceramic swimmers. I liked the fact that they had the little ladybugs on them. They were just kind of different. I'd never seen them before. Since they were so unique and under $5, I felt like it would be weird to leave them behind, especially because they're so easy to ship and they're just kind of weird. Oh, I almost forgot. Also got this little blow mold duckling. Now these Easter unlimited blow molds have been harder and harder to find. They usually sell pretty well. I paid $15 for this one. Uh, I know that's a lot, but I still think I'll be able to double my money just because the condition is so good. And the fact that it's, I mean, it's not cracked. These have become extremely hard to find and they're super desirable. They always scoop up the little um, kitschy Easter blow molds if there's anywhere near making room for profit if they're not all banged up. So um, what else did I have here going on? Next up, this is a really fun set. Now it's distributed by Parksmith New York. 
Uh, they are designed by Holt Howard. They're not in great condition. I've had the set before. It sold anywhere from $45 to $55 compared, uh, depending on condition. They're supposed to be Mercedes Benz's. However, they are, are missing some of their graphics here. And of course the little girl here has some minor dings and nicks to the paint. And uh, this one has a little hairline at the car door there or car windshield, they should say. Still a super fun set. And whereas I've been trying to stay away from buying things that have any damage, this is such a sought after set that for $9, I said, even though it's got a little bit of wear, I can still make money off of it easily. And I believe it will still sell quickly if I price it right. Normally, if I had something that, um, like one of these, maybe, like I said, I've sold them anywhere from 40 to $50. This is probably gonna be more in the high $20 range, uh, low 30s, just because of the damage. Um, it's kind of like one of those things, the more I look at it, the more I can see the little nicks and I'm just trying to move things quickly, like I said. So at $9, I'll still be able to uh, make money off of it. So I scooped them up. Next up, this is something I don't normally flock to. Uh, I only paid $5 for it. I looked it up, it was from 1910. It was just this tobacco felt that I felt like, <laughs> tobacco felt that I felt. <laughs> it's a tobacco felt and I thought it had just like this really kind of romantic, bohemian quality to it. And it was in such good condition. I loved the colors and kind of the mutedness of all of it and the butterfly. For $5, I picked it up. I'll be able to about double my money, maybe just right under after fees. But I just kind of think it was fun to switch it up it's easy to ship just you know put it in a padded envelope essentially next up i got this really pretty bovano enamel over copper plate uh now i paid four dollars and fifty cents for it i love this kind of mustardy color now i usually will pick up a bovano if the design is like something that cats or i should say any enamel over copper plate um, or dish that catches my eye as long as the pattern catches my eye first and then the price. Now for $4.50, that was an insane deal. I've sold these anywhere from 20 to upwards of $50. So depending on the pattern now, this is definitely more in the 20 to $30 range. It was in like pristine condition. And Bovano is definitely one of the better selling manufacturers I find. Um, for $4.50, I scooped that up. St. Patrick's Day, a holiday that is not easy to find stuff. I saw these little garters and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to have these. Look at how cute they are. They were only $6.80. They were new old stock in the original packaging, just the way I like things like this. Uh, I just thought they were so sweet and very unique. A lot of people like uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I am not a St. Patrick's Day person, really. I'm uh, kind of a grump about the, the holidays. But these were so kitschy and kind of on the risque side, I could not resist. So the time has come where we're going to talk about the thing that we've probably all been waiting to talk about. My most expensive item I picked up, well, it was really two for one. And I would have done it over again. I freaked out when I saw these. $48 for the pair. Check out these ceramic fuzzies. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on here. So first of all, let's talk about this one. I am like so confused because this is the original style. They are supposed to have this kind of fur. Um, however, I've only ever seen these in person once. I had it and mine sold it wasn't this exact one it was a different one and it sold for four hundred dollars so um <laughs> now this one is not the same but i'm a little thrown off by the fur because i know people do try to recreate these however there is age to the fur and the colors check out i think the thing that was the most confusing to me was that it had this matching partner and uh, I mean, even with, I mean, this has definitely got age to it, I can tell. I mean, obviously the figurine is right, but I just don't know if the glue is supposed to come off the way it is or that, like, there's just something kind of off. So I'm still kind of going about it. Either way, I, and I've never seen this style for sure. That's a really unique one. Either way, I know that I will be able to sell this for at least a minimum of $150. 
Now that sounds crazy, but this figurine alone is super hard to find. And I've never seen this face before, like I said, and it's got the original mark. Now I've seen this one sell in different colors, mostly like the pink and turquoise uh, in pristine condition over $600, which is insane. Um, I would say four or $500 is probably the average of what I've seen them. But uh, this was definitely the find of the day. They're, <laughs> they're really hard to find. And like I said, the only thing about it is I'm not sure if the fur is correct, honestly. It might have been um, reappropriated and it's just because of the way it's wearing on this one that's kind of throwing me off. So it's going to take some more research. It's going to take some more time. Um, I'm definitely like, not, like if it's time for the video to post and I'm not ready to post them, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to just like sell them just to sell them. But this one, I feel confident that it's right. I mean, it's got like, this is, this is the the style it's just is this the original fur this one looks like the original fur honestly but i don't want to sell it as something it's not um because it's unusual that it's missing right here so that's kind of why i'm like hmm, maybe this has been um fixed up over the years but either way for 48 dollars, i definitely did all right um i'll be able to more than double my money on that so that's all i got at roller mills and hummelstown uh there's a plenty more in store trust me i got a lot of stuff on this shopping trip and i will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m